We are at Kailicha A section at Moyawekaya Community Garden that was initiated by Mama Christina Kaba. She went straight on to Mama Helen Zill to request for this land so that they can open the, this garden here. Fortunately for her, Mama Helen Zill did give her the land and she said, have the land, but don't come back to me and ask for anything else. I'm giving you the land, go and grow your veggies. So Mama Kaba did just that. She called the community, asked the community whoever would love to come and work in the garden and so that we can grow the veggies. And a lot of people did come in the beginning. But when they saw the way the land was, and they saw the kind of work that they were going to do because the land was pure, pure white sea sand. When looking at it, they said, no, how can they grow vegetables from here? What is going to happen in this sandy soil like this? So most people, they didn't take on, they left. And Mama Kaba, what she was actually looking at then was the youth in the area because here there's quite a lot of unemployment. The youth here is just idling at home, doing nothing. So she was thinking of them, thinking that they'll be happy to come and be part of the growing of vegetables. But uh, most unfortunately for Mama Kaba, she was so disappointed because the youth never liked it. They don't like to be dirty. They don't like their hands to be dirty. <laughs> and they are not patient. They want everything that comes quick because they never thought of growing vegetables and have to wait for three months before they can even start eating something out of what they've grown or let alone be to sell. Just eating, they said, no man, I tell you, we cannot wait for that long. So the youth, all the youth left, and then only the elderly people that remained behind. As you can see now, we are left with 10 elderly people. The youngest is 63, and the eldest is 76. Just think of that. This work here is done by those people.